Item Number, SCP-139 Name, Possible Skull of the White D.I.V. Class, Keter Description The object appears on the surface to be the poorly preserved skull of a hominid. It is missing the lower jaw bone. Also of note is the extreme wear, especially to the eye sockets. Photography of the skull has been analyzed by leading anthropologists. All agree that the specimen is too badly damaged to be identified with complete accuracy, and that it is most definitely hominid. While some believe it is a standard Neanderthal skull, others are convinced that the wide cavities are the result of wear and that the original size was much smaller, more like that of a modern human. This is because the size of the nasal and ocular cavities was the main feature leading some to identify the skull as Neanderthal. However, all were confounded by the ridge at the top of the skull. This feature is most commonly associated with prehistoric herbivorous species of hominids. One of our own anthropologists has proposed the theory that the ridge is the sign of a powerfully jawed animal. Such ridges generally act as anchors for jaw muscles, such as in Paranthropus boise. These animals used their heavy jaw muscles for chewing plants, but it is also feasible that with sharp teeth they could easily be used for killing. Special Containment Procedures SCP-139 is to be kept in a room at least 6 meters at its smallest dimension, suspended at least 2 meters from the nearest inside surface of the room. No one is to enter this room under any circumstance. The room is never to be left without at least two armed guards at any moment. 